Python is the most in-demand programming language, so if you want to increase our market value, we must learn it. In this series, I will break down Python in the simplest, most practical way possible. So, let's go. Part 3. Working with lists and dictionaries. So, a list in Python is like a collection of items you can keep together. Imagine a list as a row of buckets where each bucket holds something. For example, if you have a list of your favorite fruits, you could write it as fruits, then you open the square brackets, apple, banana, cherry, and you close the brackets. Lists help you store multiple items in one place, and you can easily add, remove, or change them. What are dictionaries? Dictionaries in Python are like a collection of labeled items. Think of it as a real dictionary where you have words and their meanings. In Python, you use a key to label something and a value to describe it. For example, student equal to and then curly brackets, name John, age 12, and grade 7. This makes it easy to store related information together. A little hack is that you can recognize a list with the square brackets and dictionaries with curly brackets. And so list and dictionaries are very useful tools in Python because you can use list to store groups of similar things, like numbers of words, and you can use dictionaries to organize data that has labels, like a person details. And so this makes it easier to find and use the information you need, especially when you're working with loads of data. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and make sure to follow me for the next part of this Python series. Also, comment course if you're interested to master Excel, SQL, Tableau, and Python in less than 60 days.